Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a crock pot meal and I thought I would bring you along with me because this is a staple in our house. Um, I don't use the crock pot too often, but I do use it all the time for this recipe and just a couple other recipes. So, uh, this recipe is called uh, crock pot creamy chicken tacos and to go into the crock pot, the only things you need are chicken, which you can do fresh, frozen, or you can do what I did here, which is buy it fresh and then freeze it. Um, you need uh, either just a generic brand diced tomatoes with green chilies or Rotel, whichever you prefer. Um, and then you need some cream cheese. Now this is just what the main ingredients for the to go into the crock pot are. Um, I do also make it with other variations such as uh, green peppers sometimes or onions. Um, but the main recipe that I got this from was just these three and then at the end you need tacos and maybe some shredded cheese. But today I'm going to show you mine. So I'll link the main recipe down below and then I will uh, in this video show you my full one. So we're going to put... Uh, the frozen chicken into the crock pot. I typically try to have this thaw overnight, but I completely forgot, so it's just gonna go in the frozen and take a bit longer. Um, and then the diced tomatoes with green chilies, otherwise known as uh, Rotel. The cream cheese you will not need until pretty much the very end, so you can go ahead and put that back in your fridge. Um, or if you didn't have any, this is a perfect time to run out and get some. So the only things you absolutely need right now are the tomatoes and the chicken. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly because some of you are definitely going to ask, what the heck is this plastic thing? Okay, if you are a no-waste person, you can just skip over this part right now because you're going to hate me for this. But um, I can't stand doing dishes and so I like to find the best ways to not do dishes while still cleaning while still cooking at home and this is one of my hacks I always always put this in uh, the crock pot it is called a I believe it's called a crock pot bag I will have a link soon either above or below with uh, the full hack of why I use it and where you can get it and all of that um, but it's, it's just a crock pot bag and so it's made for it. It's made to withstand the heat and it's not melt or anything. So I always cover my crock pot with that. You can see it's really, it's got a good seam at the bottom so that it's not going to, uh, break easily. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the chicken in here and then I will be back to join to show you the rest. Okay, so I have my chicken in. Um, as you can see, it's only four instead of the big six pack that I had. Um, if I'm having company or if I'm gonna make extra, then I'll do the six, but I feel like it cooks better and um, more evenly if I only do four. If I had remembered to thaw these out overnight, I would have done the six, um, but since they are frozen, I, I'm just gonna do the four. Um, so this, the four will feed our family of four plus at least a full lunch for us tomorrow. So this is a good amount. So now we're just gonna put the can of Rotel or any generic version you're gonna use right over the top. Um, and then you can add any seasonings you're wanting. So for me, um, I'm gonna add some taco seasoning to this. Okay, so now you're just gonna add whatever seasonings you want. You can leave it like this and not season it at all because I mean, this there is seasoning in the Rotel um, or your generic version. But I'm going to, use, to, I always add some taco seasoning to mine. And the brand that I use, um, I either got this from Sam's Club or Costco. I don't remember. I'm almost out of it though. Got like a yeah, little bit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here. And I honestly just do it by eye, so. I couldn't tell you how much I do. Just season it to taste. Um, 
Okay, once that's in, you just cover it and turn it on low for six to eight hours. Um, if you need it to go faster, you can do it on five. Just use your judgment to check in for checking it. Um, because these are frozen though, it's always better to go on low um, and do it for longer. Okay, so we have our chicken and rotel, well, the Winco version, and our taco seasoning in the crock pot. That's going to cook on low for six to eight hours. And that's going to depend on your crock pot settings. Um, and then you can always put it to warm if it's ready before you need it. Um, the other ingredients that I add to mine are about the last hour, I will be adding some green peppers, uh, some uh, red onion, and oh, and the cream cheese. I knew I was forgetting something. And then. No, the cream cheese is the last 30 minutes, not last hour. And then at the very end, um, right before I serve it, I sprinkle in some shredded cheddar cheese, and then I start serving it with either tacos or on salad or on um, as burritos. However you want to do it is fine. So ingredients list one last time, which I will also post it below. Remember that the original recipe is going to be below as well, um, but this is my version of the recipe. So you need chicken. For my version, you need chicken, rotel, taco seasoning, green onions, red, I mean green peppers, red onions, cream cheese, shredded cheese, and whatever you're gonna use, either salad, taco, go shells or flour tortillas, whatever you're gonna use for that. So not very expensive and if you want to do it just the original way, it's super easy, super cheap. Sorry, my hand, I don't know where my tripod is right now. Um, but if you wanna do it the super easy, super cheap way, it's still really good and it is just chicken, rattel, cream cheese, and whatever you're gonna put it on. Really good really easy, really cheap meal that does feed quite a bit. So I'm gonna let this cook and then we'll come back to see what we do with the chicken when it's pretty much ready. Okay, so here we have all the chicken already shredded up. Um, I just use two forks to shred it, super easy. Um, I typically take it out, put it on a plate or a cutting board and shred it and then put it back in. Um, I forgot to grab onion today so we will not be putting that in but I do have green peppers so the green peppers I um, already had chopped up and everything from another recipe and they got a little bit of frost burn but it's fine a little bit of icy they're not bad um so I just put that in there and then put the cream cheese in I just use an eight ounce thing of cream cheese, um, a brick is what I call it, um, and I use whatever cream cheese. It, like if I'm using cream cheese on bagels, I'm picky, but if I'm not, I'm fine. Like this one is Market Pantry, which is Target one. So I'll just get that opened up. All right, so you're just gonna put your cream cheese in. It's kind of hard for me to do with one hand. cheese block right on top and then we put the lid on for about 30 minutes um, to an hour let it keep cooking you can do it on low or if you don't need to eat right away you can do it on warm and keep it there for about an hour hour and 20 minutes and then once it's done you're gonna mix it all in